wars ended, these companies needed a market for their chemicals. So they pivoted to killing bugs and pests on American farmlands. Monsanto began marketing glyphosate with catchy name Roundup. They claimed that these chemicals were harmless and that they safeguarded our crops from pests. So farmers started spraying these supposedly safe chemicals on our farmland. They solved the bug problem, but they also killed the crops. Monsanto offered a solution with the creation of genetically modified, otherwise known as GMO crops that resisted the glyphosate in the Roundup that they were spraying. These Roundup ready crops allow farmers to spray entire fields with glyphosate to kill off pests without harming the plants. But our food is left covered in toxic chemical residue that doesn't wash, dry, or cook off. Not only is it sprayed to kill pests, but in the final stages of harvest, it is sprayed on the wheat to dry it out. Grains that go into bread and cereals that are in grocery stores and homes of Americans are heavily sprayed with these toxins. It's also being sprayed on oats, chickpeas, almonds, potatoes, and more. You can assume that if it's not organic, it is likely contaminated with glyphosate. In America, organic food by law cannot contain GMOs and glyphosate, and they are more expensive compared to conventionally grown options. Americans are being forced to pay more for food that isn't poisoned.